Hey, Simon here again, and with Pips as well. So the title of, or probably title of this uh, video sounds a bit poncy and a bit stuck up, but there, there is a reason for this, so bear with me. I want to basically share a story going back six years ago now, and it is when I, I was about to leave the Air Force. I left the Air Force for really unnoble reasons. I just wanted to make more money, and I was just a bit disenchanted with the whole sort of red tape bollocks that goes on with the Air Force and also the politics. I did a lot of helicopter flying for fun in, in my spare time, and I, I met a really nice guy called Ray, uh, Ray Pugh. So if you're watching Ray, hey. Um, and he basically, he's been in the recruitment world for ages. He runs still to this day a huge recruitment firm. He, he is, is complete, he's really successful in pretty much all walks in life. He doesn't know it, but <laughs> probably until now. But he was pretty much my first business mentor and he didn't even know. And we, we spent a lot of time flying and also going to restaurants and stuff like that. And I remember one night he treated myself and Ellie to a meal out in Cheltenham. And back then, like I was just about to leave the Air Force, I was making nothing. I wasn't broke back then, but I wasn't earning that much. Towards the end of the, the, the dinner, we we're, were having a chat as, well, as we were leaving the dinner, and he was asking me some questions, and he was like, so what's the plan, Simon? You're leaving the Air Force, what's the plan? And I basically I was like, oh, I need to get into business, I need to continue with my trading, because my trading was ticking up by, by then. And he was like, so, so what do you want to earn? Back then, five grand a month was like heaven. I was like, I can live like an absolute god for five grand a month. And it was a target I was really gunning for. He sort of paused as we were walking and I was like, what, what's wrong with five grand? Is it too much? He sort of sniggered, but in a nice way, he sort of ch laughed, but a quick, <laughs> and he, he basically said, well, trust me, Siam, five grand doesn't get you that far these days. And I was just sat there in amazement. I thought, really? And he said, trust me, when you get to five grand a month as an income, you'll be wanting, you'll be wanting at least double that, at least. Hey Coco. And for ages, I, I really didn't get that. And I was really, I was obsessed with this figure of, you know, getting 5k a month. We're gonna go sideways for a minute to just remember that for a moment because very soon after that, probably within six months or so, I ended up getting an, a really crappy admin job at this recruitment company, not his, it was, an, it was another one. And I really didn't like it. The, the, my middle line manager, a guy called Adrian Whiteman. So hi Adrian, if you're, if you're there. So I was, I was helping doing recruitment for him, etc. Adrian landed this 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 uh, placement. So he managed to find this company looking for some web e-commerce type company. Adrian found a guy that was a perfect fit for this, and the salary was 108 grand a year. When he was telling me this, I was like, "Holy freaking shit! 108 grand a year!" And, and those like in the immediate vicinity are like, "108 grand a year!" And we're just try, just trying to imagine what sort of person could command a £108,000 per year salary. And that guy was actually hagg haggling. And we we're like, what? Why did he just take it? A hundred grand a year was just like, oh my Lord, it's gonna take me years to get there. So yeah, those two stories really have stuck with me over the years. And uh, fast forward to now, I am an obsessive. And I, I, I think it's a good thing. Nothing ever good came from non-obsessive -ob people. And I've been obsessive about my, my own personal targets, goals, and sort of dreams and whatnot. Moving forward five, six years, my, I've basically up-leveled my, my mindset, my, my knowledge set, my skill set, pretty much in every aspect of my life. The other day I was sat there with Ellie just thinking about that, those two stories, and we're like, remember back then when blah, we, we, we've come so far, like now, the reason I say I can't live on 100 grand a year, my personal outgoings per month is seven and a half grand per month, which is actually quite, ridiculous and I, I found a website called thesalarycalculator.co.uk and just for shits and giggles I was playing around on this this sort of like online calculator thing and I put in a hundred and eight thousand pounds and then you press go and it's basically saying if you're on a hundred eight grand salary per year your gross income is nine grand you're paying tax out of the, your freaking yin yang and every orifice you have. And take home, this is what scared me. Well, not scared me, it shocked me. Your take home figure is £5,708 per month after tax. I was like, bloody hell. You're on an over 100K salary and you're only taking home five seven hundred a, a month. 
and it sort of reminded me why PAYE, so salaried income, is literally the worst type of income stream you can ever ask. Some people call it the half money income stream, I really call it the 60-70% uh, income stream because you're pretty much taxed 40-50% depending on your, your oh, Coco's going bloody kill mode on me at the moment. So you're taxed out of the yin yang that way and then everything you buy you're taxed 20% because you've got to pay the VAT on things you buy. So yeah, so my, my overriding thing on this is that like you gotta, don't focus on the money so much. Focus on being the person you want, want to be and focus on what knowledge level, what, what skill sets you need to have to be that person to, to nail whatever target it is. And money is just a byproduct of value. It will come over time. So a bit of a convoluted um, story here, but hopefully it helps. Don't really fo don't focus. I know um, whatever's measured improves, but try and measure and focus on the thing that will get you there, not the actual target. So hope that helps. And uh, yeah, my arm is all right. I'll see you soon. Cheers. I know. Apologise uh, for this. I know most YouTubers and whatnot, you know, say everything from head, but I'm too dumb for that. I have to have notes.